You all know I talk about Wicked Cushions all the time. I absolutely love them. I praise them. I put my name all over them. Many of you might be thinking, sponsored. Well, believe it or not, actually 90% of the time I talk about Wicked Cushions, it is not sponsored. This video is not even sponsored. Again, it's something I truly love truly recommend and put my name all over. And the feedback I hear from you guys and people that use them is just about always positive. But something I really haven't covered about them is do they alter the sound of your gaming headset? Well, that's what I'm gonna cover today. And there are quite a few different scenarios that we can go about this. Number one, do they alter the sound? Short and easy, yes, but what we're gonna talk about is it is so mild and minute in most situations that it's honestly not gonna be noticeable. So, so let's go ahead and start right here. You see, I got a couple of headsets without cushions on them. Over here, I got some headsets with cushions on them. And what I'm gonna start with is, you all know I love the Odyssey Penrose, right? One of my absolute favorite headsets here. As you see, I got wicked cushions on it here. Here are the stock cushions, all right? So number one, let me pull them off and look at the cushions here. Just look at the difference in the camera, right? So you can number one see the Wicked Cushion is a much bigger cushion than the stock Odyssey one, right? When you look over here, as far as that, the bracket, the placement, everything's pretty much the exact same. So even other than the thickness here, you wanna look at that density. So whenever we take the Wicked Cushions, you see it has a little bit more give right there, holds its position when it flows out. Now these are the cooling gel. You got the sports material, pleather line, pleather line, sports material, and then again, that cooling gel in here. Now coming over to the stock ones, fully pleather like you see on many gaming headsets, many headphones. But other than that, just check this out. Pew, right down. I mean, you press them down and they just give way. So on the Odyssey Penrose, the Mobius, whatever, these guys out of the box have a little bit tighter of a clamp and force, not loose by any means. So when you get that combination of the clamp and force with these ear pads that give way really quick, what that's gonna result in is pretty much driver against the ear. All right, stick with me here, okay? So you got driver against the ear right now. That's what I want you to focus on with the stock pads. And you can just put it on like this and pretty much tell. I feel the tip of my ear just Barely touching. It's not uncomfortable by any means, but I just feel it barely touching over here. Not at all. So let's talk about that sound difference now. You can pretty much sum it up by yourself. That driver is closer to your ear, right? Now, the the uh, Wicked Cushions are pleather inside and out, so it's still locking in that sound just as good as the stock ones here. Now, the stock ones are a little softer, so they're going to just mold around every little bit. Luckily for my head shape, with the Wicked Cushions, I don't have any gaps. Head shape to head shape is gonna be different person to person, you know what I mean? So that's gonna vary right there. But at its core, the difference is the driver with the stock one's gonna be much closer to your ear than with the Wicked Cushions. Now we're talking millimeters, guys. We're talking a minute amount. Is it noticeable? That's what I wanna to talk to you about. Yes, it is noticeable. Is it game changing? No, it is not game changing. Is it deal breaking? Like, should you get them or not? Should you keep the stock ones? Go with the wicked cushions? No, it's really not. And after you notice it when you put it on, it's like, all right, that's just a little bit further back, almost a little easier on your ears, a little more manageable for long sessions, believe it or not. But again, after a while, you're still getting that same sound. It's just not right up on you. Kind of like an earbud compared to a headphone type thing. Which, which is quite pleasant. And again, another pro, I believe, right there. So that's number one right there is the density, the placement of the cushions. How would that result in right there, you know? That, that's a great example as well as with the uh, Corsair Virtuosos right here. Same type of situation over here as you get with the Audizy. These ones come stock with very tiny ear pads. You just sink right in. The driver's close to you. As far as the sound difference of these, because the uh, stock cushions are a little bit firmer on the Virtuoso, it's mild. It's even less than that. Now, now again, when I'm saying less than that, I want you to remember, like, this is still very, very mild, guys. This is not like, wow, this is game changing, you know? So where I want to go about this, that it's a little more game changing, is with the Astros. You got A40s, A50s, right? I got a pad over here somewhere. Here we go, right? So you got the, uh, let's pop this bad boy off. You got the stock cushion from the Astros, full cloth, inside and out, just 
gives way. Very comfortable, but they give way. Coming over here to the wicked cushions, as you see, a little bit firmer right there. Definitely that gel. They hold their position. Now, you can get wicked cushions that are velour on the outside, but they'll be pleather lined inside and everything. But at the core, pretty much the same pleather outside, pleather inside right there. So they're going to lock in that sound a lot more. Even other than comfort here, which we all know is number one, the sound difference on these is quite substantial. The Astros have a very full bodied sound and you kind of get a little bit of that open back experience with these because they're so breathable. They're just letting a lot of that sound escape out rather than being locked in there. Now with these, you're going to lock it in a little bit more and it really pulls out the Astros to a fun experience. You know, number one, the comfort is game changing, but the sound is something like, all right, I like this, and it, this is pretty cool. You know, you can kind of think of it as like the mod kit, right? They sell the mod kit for the Astros. Same concept here, except those are all uh, pleather, you know? But as far as sound, this is an area where you'll notice a bigger difference than, say, something like that, right? Now, I want to pull out... Let's put the Astros over here. That, that's a good one. I want to pull out the Arctix Nova Pro. These are the wireless. Now, let me pop off one of these cushions here. This is a big thing, right? See that little nub in there? I talked about this in my review. I don't see how anybody deals with that. It's stinking annoying. These pads, they just like, there's not much to them. Like, I don't know why Steel Series changed from the other cushions. I, I'm, I get it, right? You want to lock the sound and you got a full pleather locking that sound a little bit more, but there's not much to these pads. Bam, that nub is hitting me right up here on the top of the ear. And a lot of people have that issue. Let's come over here to the Nova or the Wicked Cushions one, right? So take a look at it right there. You can clear as day see the Wicked Cushion one is much thicker. That's going to resolve that nub issue. Instantly resolve the nub issue. Now, again, it's pulling a little further away. Does it change the sound in these? No, it doesn't, but it will mildly change that noise cancellation. You get that noise cancellation, a little static, a little noise going in there this way. With the stock pad, it's a little bit closer. With the Wicked Cushions, it's slightly, I'm talking slightly further away. But as far as that core experience, that core sound, no, no. It just really doesn't change it. Even if you come over here to the gel ones, which are the ones I highly recommend you to get. Now, take a look at this. Stock cushion, Wicked Cushions gel for the Nova ones. Massive difference. Again, right? I want you to focus on the density. Look how that just gives way and pops up. Come over to the Wicked Cushion one. Bam, goes there, holds its position, flows in. So what's that going to do is hit on your face right here, on your ear, and lock into those positions all the way around your ear. Again, we're talking about sound here, even other than the coolant gel being comfortable and everything. That is, again, a different area. So over here, we got the distance of the driver from your ear. Over here, you got, well, we're changing that fabric completely, locking in that sound a little bit more. You know, over here, you got that noise cancellation deal. One area that I think I would like to see, and I know Wiki Cushions has uh, spoke about working on this over here with pads for the Black Sharks. And why I think this would be an interesting one, I'd really like to try. Number one, these pads are very comfortable. As you see, they got that, I mean, there's not much to them, but they're incredibly soft. It's a lightweight headset with very minimal clamping force. So even though there's not much to the ear pads, they still just sit there and it's incredibly comfortable. Why I think this would be fun is because this headset has a lot of body to it. And I think if we get something to lock in that sound a little bit more, it'll pull it out to a whole nother experience, right? They're kind of giving you a different sound, which I think will be really fun. You know, but again, at the core, this is something I'd like to see where you got not much ear pad, minimal clamping force, and then if you change it to a different type of pad, how much will it change it? Hopefully you're catching my jive through a couple different examples here. You can go the same route with headphones, and I think headphones might be a little different. I've used Wicked Cushions on my Audio Technicas, over on my Mezes, on Bayer Dynamics, and all sorts of ones. And again, the change in sound I can't say it enough, guys. It is minimal. It is incredibly minimal. The main reason you're going to go off and scoop yourself up. Holy smokes, this thing's about to fall off right there. Let me go on and fix my balls there. The main thing you're going to notice here is the comfort. And that is the majority of the reason you're going to go on and scoop up different ear pads or anything is the comfort. That's going to be the biggest differentiating factor here as far as sound. Again, I mean... Yeah, it's going to change it. I'm talking absolutely stinking minimal. Some of you may not even notice it. So again, does it change the sound? Yes. Is it deal breaking? Is it game changing? Is it going to convert your entire setup? No. And number one, 
It's all about comfort and it's got to be stinking cozy.